This poem is a sonic tonic, offering solace from the prophets of prophets, fatal financial follies. This poem won't break its, this poem won't break its, this poem won't break its promise. This poem extols only equal rights, equality of opportunity, tolerance, freedom to redeem, our birthright to express, to bless, not stress about debt, who will be left with the onerous duties upon our debt. Joy, not self or even selfie obsessed. <laughs> harmony, not harming me. Harmony, not harming me. Harmony, not harming we. This poem wants your unique verse dispersed throughout the universe. This poem wants the chorus sung by all of us. This poem was first spoke for the seed of the tree that deceived Adam and Eve was sown. This poem is beholden to the only golden moment. The present, the gift, the now. The gift, the now, the present. This poem is blipped by problems and seek solutions. This poem observes that we aren't being served by the current crop of revolutions. This poem is an ode to those revolutions, martyrs, past, present, and to come who with swords and even stones drawn face the talons of the material minotaur. Many, many have fallen by a few victories, battles, skirmishes on behalf of all of us have been won. Still the martyrs them come, still them come and come and come. This poem owes a quarter of its soul to Muhammad Boa Azizi, the slain of Benghazi and Tripoli, of Aleppo, Mosul, Fallujah, Phnom Penh, Guantanamo, Nagasaki, Wounded Knee, Sana, Borno, Malama. This poem is for the slain of Baghdad, the West Bank and Gaza. This poem is for Muhammad al Dora. 12 year old shot dead in his father's arms at the start of the second intifada. To the missing of Myanmar, the Swap Valley and Kandahar. To the masses in the streets of Caracas right now, whilst you and I feast on, whilst, whilst, whilst you and I feast on genetically deficient pink sows and heifer cows. <laughs> this poem is for whistleblowers like Snowden, who boldly spoke knowing tomorrow forever and a day his life was frozen. This poem is to the Hutus and Tutsis, who to this day still have no grave and may remain unnamed, whilst you and I are free to rave. This poem is for the six million Jews and the two million Ethiopians, eight million Congolese, seven million Ukrainians, and two million Cambodians, and the guesstimated 50 million Hopi, Navajo, Sioux, and Arapaho, and the simply unnumbered disappeared original Australian and African Aboriginals. This poem also holds plenty, plenty to reinvigorate any one of seven billion plus jaded souls. This poem owes most of its soul to Muta Baruka and Mr. Bobby Condors. This poem flows from the oceanic waters that fell a cootie bought us. This poem thanks Jazzy B for bringing us back to life. This poem is blessed by Nesta Marley's natural mystic rainbows. Can you intuitively we like jamming too. <laughs> this poem plays due to Elvis, his blue suede shoes, and the slaves working on a chicken get working on plantations, who freely gave them a flavor of how colored folk get through. Cause without them, rock and roll simply wouldn't be the same tune. This poem should be glistened to in the song with all those people who make you feel like there's just one. Like Funkadelic, one nation under one groove. One nation, one poem. Which poem? <laughs> this poem. <laughs>